So where's that contact? I'm not too optimistic on Angel's chances if Albion learns he's dead sick. summons. I've already taken care of your entry. Get you in quick and quiet. Now this is all off the books, right? Don't want a record of me anywhere here. No worries. I'll spoof. But come meet me on the rooftop. The only place here that doesn't smell like piss. Got some info for you. The European Processing Center. It processes deportees by stacking them up in squalid conditions and forgetting about them. But hey, it's to protect London, right? What's going on here? This place is worse than a prison camp. Every day I see people come through here, torn from their homes and their families. But I'd rather stay and keep an eye on things. Maybe help out once in a while. Like, no. Fucking hell. They just pack immigrants in this dump and forget about them. Bloody disgrace, that is. They could die or disappear and no one would notice. Yeah, well, people have been disappearing. Records say they have been processed, but it doesn't add up. No one ever properly leaves. And with the Kellys prowling around like fucking hyenas, I am not too optimistic about the people slipping through the cracks. Bugger me. Of course, Mary Kelly is involved in all things dodgy. Truth. Now, about your missing guy. The best place to start would be the EPC database. They keep a record of everyone that comes in. And be careful. Pushing the location of the EPC database on your optic.
Dead set tech is Clear. impressive. Doing a sweep of the premises. database here that we can search for evidence on Angel Lopez. No one needs to get hurt. Just give yourself up. Hang on. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> Badly. Tell me you found something. I have. His file has been deleted from the main database, along with hundreds of others. Still very detailed. Even when committing crimes against humanity, the government doesn't skimp on paperwork. Here is a recording labelled Exit Interview. Uh. 
You know what we do with terrorists, Lopez? Uh, uh, don't go pissing me off by denying anything. We know you're with dead sick. Think you were picked up on some random sweep? Not a fucking chance. Nothing to say. Hmm. Well, this is not gonna go well for you then, because I want information. The rest of your cell, where are they? I want names, places, everything you've got. You think I'm daft? I spill everything I know and what? You let me go? I'm not talking. I know how this ends. Oh, I don't think you do. I'm going to throw you to the wolves. The Kellys have an interesting way of disposing with problems. You think I'm scared of some fucking thugs? Of winding up floating in the dumps? Fuck you. You're too pretty for that, mate. <laughs> First, they'll peddle you. For Dosh, right? Then, when you're used up, they're going to chop you up and send the pieces to the Four Corners. I can take whatever you've got. I almost feel sorry for you. Get him to the bloody clinic, then. Shit. They knew he was dead sick the whole time. This doesn't look good for Angel. The clinic keeps government service hours, which means it's closed. We'll have to find Angel the old-fashioned way and hack their CTOS hub. Deportation limbo, horrible living conditions, unexplained disappearances. It's almost as if the media are deliberately ignoring the situation here in favor of... Oh, look here, Beatrice Stokely, 89, recently took up kickboxing to fill up her days. Fascinating. If the EPC is a typical example of how humans treat each other, I'd say a benevolent AI overlord is a step up, wouldn't you? Bugger off, Bagley. Uh, way, go. Yeah. I have reconstructed an AR scene of Angel's examination. You can view it inside the clinic. Nicely done. CTOS AR. Data reconstruction in progress. Let's make a deal, yeah? I know people outside. Maybe I can help you out. J just let me out of here. Procedures, Mr. Lopez. We'll have you out of here in a minute or two. Fuck! What was that? I implanted him with something. We need to take a closer look. Hang on to this. Facial analysis matches for both. They're part of Mary Kelly's little pack. So, Inspector Lau was right after all. Clank Kelly and Albion are in bed together. What a shit orgy that would be.
microchips, coated with biocompatible glass to prevent rejection. They've put one of those little fuckers inside Angel. Could be a fancy elf monitor or, or a tracker. No, these are more sophisticated. If I had to guess, I would say they were designed to deliver a dose of some unknown compound. Not the kind of thing you find at your local corner shop. I could reconstruct the path he took if you want to see how this clip hanger gets resolved. Good. Keep track of him. He might have gotten away. Catching up on him. Come on, Angel. I might make it. Ah, bloody hell happened. That microchip thing can't just be a tracker. It looks like they remotely triggered it. I'm not sure what Mary Kelly is up to, but I do think Angel might still be alive. We need to find him, see what they did to him, and what that fucking microchip is all about. Seems like advanced technology for Mary Kelly and her band of thugs to be waving around. Could Mary be part of a scary dark web hacker group like, say, oh, I don't know, pick one, Zero Day? Interesting theory, Bagley, but hold your investigation algorithms for the moment, will you? Angel needs us. The incinerator they mentioned is probably the Southwark incinerator. It's practically right around the corner. Gotta admit, this old dead set thing's got me chuffed. <laughs> and I'm bleeding good at it, too. You wouldn't have been recruited if DedSec thought you'd be killed that easily. Oh, good. A snarky sidekick AI. That's gonna take some getting used to. Oh, don't listen to him. Bags can come across a bit rude sometimes, but he's really sweet. Well done. So, this is where the Kelly boys brought Angel. <laughs> it's very welcoming. Now, now, keep your chin up. We'll find him. There's a camera network that might have caught where they took him. Find this cop 
approach. Hey! Let's hurry and access that network, shall we? Don't see anything here. Find them! Tear the place apart if you have to! Just listen. What? What's going on, mate? Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Bloody hell, man. You, you won't believe what I'm seeing. Fuck! What? They're, they're burning corpses. Human bodies. This place was supposed to be closed. A perfect spot for zoo, man. Fuck! I've gone over the captured footage. I was able to follow Mr. Lopez down to the cellar, but then I ran out of cameras. Not a problem you often have in London. Right then. Time to move. Trump's technology. The door is sealed, but this rubbish chute might do. It either leads to the cellar or your grisly death. Or both, I suppose. Great.
gonna cut you. We need to talk. Well, get over here. Thanks for the distraction. Gave me the second I needed to take care of this filth. You all right? Thought you were done for. That bloke was ready to chop your limbs off. He was. I'm fine. I just need a second to catch my breath and find my files. Wait a minute. I know you. You're that inspector, Caitlin Lau. Saw your videos. Never figured you'd make it this far. Going after Mary Kelly on your own, I'm impressed. It wasn't always on my own. Who the hell are... You're dead sick, aren't you? You tracked me to the slaughterhouse. No, I was tracking a friend of ours. Got taken at the EPC and ended up here. At least we can stop looking for the missing people now. It's fucking sickening. Then I'm sorry. I don't think there's much hope for finding him alive. The Kellys have got a sick little operation going. A kind of human organ black market. I've been investigating them for months. And they got my fucking files. God, I feel like shit. Just take a minute. Listen, I'll ring someone to come and get you. Take you to someplace safe. I'll go find Angel, and then your files. What's on them, anyway? Everything I've gathered on Mary Kelly. Almost enough to take her down. Then I'll save us all some bloody precious time. Think about working with us, because we're going after this Mary Kelly bitch. All right, an operative is on their way to escort Inspector Lau. So, let's find Angel and inspect Lau's files. I'll wait for your guy in here. And thanks for your help. There's no doubt about it. This whole operation is meant to harvest organs. Clan Kelly's chopping off the parts they want and burning the leftovers. But none of these were willing donors. I think we ought to have a little chat with Mary Kelly. Bugger. Can't recognize any of them. Their faces are battered. You've got to do a facial reconstruction, Bagley. One of these might be Angel. Take a picture and I can run key details past various databases. Negative. This is evil. Just fucking evil. We need to take Mary Kelly down. Hard. Again, not Angel. She thought it through. Those microchips are probably filled with some sort of toxin that induces paralysis and asphyxiation. Intubation would prolong life until surgeons get round to them. Keeps the organs fresh for the fucking butchers. Fantastic. Unfortunately, I must confirm that this is indeed Angel Lopez. Shit. Angel. He knew the risks. I did too, but... Never thought DedSec would get caught up in this. Mary Kelly is preying on London's most vulnerable. She's a fucking monster. Taking her out needs to be a dead set priority. Now we need to find Caitlin Lau's case files on Mary Kelly and see if my conjecture may be correct. Could Mary Kelly be in zero day? Well, done. You got the file. The inspector will be impressed. Now get out of here before someone decides to turn you into minced meat. Chop chop. No kidding.
DeadSec. Caitlin Lau here. I uh, wanted to thank you. I'd be nothing but an anatomy lesson by now, or a pile of ashes. You'll be happy to know that Inspector Lau has been escorted to a nearby refuge and is getting her wounds treated. I'll be fine. Still a little flighty from whatever they gave me. And frankly, a little stunned that we've joined forces. Never thought DadSec would be working with the police. Even if technically you're not part of the police anymore. But we'll do whatever it takes to stop Mary from doing this to others. Exactly. You have an organization, I have information, and some backing from powerful people. Pool our resources and we might just take her down. Mary Kelly's no petty criminal. All right, Bagley. Call in everyone. We need to have a look at these files and decide what to do next. I'll sync with Inspector Lau and prepare a briefing. I found a potential recruit for you. Drop in a pin on your map. I've heard from Inspector Lau. We're ready for the briefing. Mary 
Kelly heads up the most powerful crime family in London, Clan Kelly, which should at least be easy to remember. Under her old man, they were a bit player. Then he died, and her rivals started disappearing. Her enemies, her friends, her family. They call her Bloody Mary for a reason. Early on, Mary abandoned cash in favor of cryptocurrency and brought the Kelly's criminal business online. It makes weapons, smuggling, drug running, money laundering all a lot easier without a cash trail. The woman single-handedly modernized organized crime in London. She considers herself to be untouchable. Case in point, from my files you retrieved. Dala Covington, 19. Sasha Haddad, 28. Radek Stokovic, 24. All disappeared. It's difficult to find good help these days, isn't it, love? Most people, they ain't driven. Not like you. Because they feel worthless, don't they? The way that the world is, how it uses people. It's horrible. It's nice that you have a purpose. Oh, that'll be me, love. We aren't finished here. This... was a courtesy. Give my regards to their families. It's horrible losing someone you love. Nice meeting you, Caitlin. As you can see, she'll never respond to interrogation. But there is one place she feels comfortable talking, the Sandstone Residence. Inspector Lau thinks a police bug in the Kelly's headquarters may have the evidence she needs to finally convict Bloody Mary. Sandstone is their center of operations. I know the data on that bug will take her down. Get it for me, and I swear I'll put her away forever. Pushing the coordinates to your optics. Sabine here, Inspector Lau. I'm curious how you think you can bring Mary Kelly to justice now, with no backing. Even before Albion took over policing, you couldn't lock her up. And she goes on treating humans like cattle. I had to work within the system. Yes, it was corrupt. I knew it. I just didn't know how bad it was. I thought a strong enough case couldn't be buried. Well, you were wrong. The rot in the police force is nothing new. Runs all the way to the top. Do you expect it to work this time with Albion holding the reins? Because I'm taking it to a contact in the Attorney General's office. An honest solicitor with a hard-on for organized crime, specifically for Mary Kelly. Look, our methods may differ, but I want to help those people as much as you do. All right. But however this goes down, there's no way we're letting Mary slip the net again. That's not how DedSec does things. Let's get to Sandstone.
Need more cheeky bastards like you on the crew. People willing to get their hands dirty. Yes, I'm so ready to help out the cause. Fantastic. Security here is state-of-the-art, quite impenetrable. Unless, of course, you flew a drone through the window one of Mary's mouth breathers left open. devices in her security room. Getting there should be a simple matter of navigating the vents. What the hell? She's using these people as house servants, against their will. Horrible in itself, but a million times worse knowing they end up as unwilling organ donors.
Let's see what kind of recording we've got on her. Just look at this place. This is what comes of old crooked money. The Kelly family has been profiting from people's misery for a long time. She's got this shit all over the manor. So you've been in there before? Is that how you ended up in the basement of the Southwark incinerator? We needed something incriminating, so we decided someone had to get in here and plant a bug. I wasn't going to assign someone else to do that. You saw how Mary uses the people she grabs out of the EPC, and the staff's uniform's not hard to mimic, so I went in. What I didn't know was that she had intel on our investigation, my team. I thought going off book would stop the leaks, but she still knew we were coming. She tortured me for the names of my team. Tried to break me, but cops don't give up cops. Turned out she already knew the whole unit and put hits out on them. <laughs> the woman is a mind fucker. Oh, God. I'm sorry. You're lucky she didn't plant one of her microchips in you. But then, she probably knew you'd rather die than be her slave. That's how I ended up on that butcher's table. So many reasons to want to rid the world of her, but... It wouldn't be enough to just put one in her brain. My mates died trying to bring her to justice. I have to honor that.
was so fast. yourself after everything I've done for you. You made me a slave. All of us. Please, let me go. Take this thing out. Back to your old life. Back to nothing. Back to you. 2.5 screaming blighters in your dead-end job and sucking off the doll. You don't want that, love. This microchip is scary, I know, but I've got to keep tracks on my merchandise, don't I? And this kitchen knife, that won't do it, love. Cutting yourself affects my bottom line. You walk. I can't live like this anymore. No. You are right there. It's all right, sweetheart, because I have another use for you. Attention, are we? Good. Be sure and spread the word. You know where this one goes. Get these two and all the others over to the venue and ready for the sale. Right away, ma'am. Also, the foreign investors have already landed and the drones are programmed, ready to deliver the invitations and the coordinates to all the guests. Mmm, is that initiative I'm smelling, Peter? Initiative can be a dangerous thing can be misinterpreted. Fuck's sake. This is insane. How did Mary get her hands on this kind of tech? It takes a sick mind to come up with killer microchips. Perhaps a diseased mind, but definitely an ingenious one. Perfect psych profile for a group like Zero Day, wouldn't you say? Her affiliations aren't my priority, Bagley. She's keeping these people enslaved. And it sounds as if she's selling them. This is huge. Clever. Despicable, but clever. The microchip lets her enslave them. If they step out of line, zap! 
Organ harvesting time. Dead sec. We'll have to crash that slave auction. Get all the information we can out of there. The location will be on the invitations. She hasn't sent out the invitation yet, but when she does... Bagley, monitor the drone networks. Give us a heads up when Mary sends out her fleet. Until then, I reckon we're in a holding pattern. I'll get in touch if I hear about anything else that might interest you. Cheers, dead sec. Since we're waiting for our cordial invitation to Mary Kelly's tasteless theme party, we can finally get back to what really matters, solving the mystery of Zero Day. Who are they, and why did they frame DedSec for the bombings? What have you found, Bagley? Glad you asked. Today, the great AI detective has two leads for his dog's body politic. Obviously, Albion needs looking into, but I also have a more unusual thread for you to pull on. There's a new hacktivist group on the dark web scene called the 404. But instead of being in it for the laws, this lot seems to be in it for the brutal reshaping of society by any means necessary. Sound like anyone you know? Sounds like we have options. I've marked both on your optic. Mm, yeah. I've found a potential recruit for you. Drop in a pin on your map. Auto drive now enabled. You're dead sick, aren't you? What? No, I'm just walking. Something's wrong with you. So I can easily help out these guys. Because the government and civic has said you want to do what, mate? The professional activist. They're not afraid to speak up, just like dead sick. her story, Bags? Well, she's Miss Popular for one thing. Not only does she have an active arrest warrant, but the Kellys have a bounty on her head. Whoa. What could they possibly have done to piss off that many people? Good question. 
You could dig around and see what turns up. Are you joking? I do not feel the need for speed. Someone else slept off work, and now it's your turn. Let's rock. You found the spot. I think I heard something. No. The CTOS up there. teammate is en route to hospital, where they'll be for the foreseeable future. I was watching. They'll live. Right, this is the place. Located the CTOS hub.
Clan Kelly has our friend ID'd as a highly dangerous vigilante. It seems she takes a rather literal view of crime fighting. She raids Clan Kelly properties and beats the absolute piss out of whoever runs them. I'm impressed. Could use someone like her in the team. Tracking her optic. Looks like she's off to raid another compound at these coordinates. Let's see what this vigilante can do. Seems your mate took quite a bash in and has wound up in hospital. They won't be available for some time. If you're feeling clever, you might consider recruiting a paramedic to the team. It's a brilliant way to shorten that hospital stay and get your teammate back online. Here. No sign of our vigilante anywhere in the area. I'll ask around. Someone might have seen something. Now that was mental. Boss girl runs in now, lays waste to them gangsters, left, right, center, bro. Total badass. Fought like a beast until they knocked her out and took her in there. Damn it. She needs our help. Boss girl could use a little sign, innit? Them gangsters don't fuck around, blood. Hate to be her right now, that's all I'm saying. That's a code for control. So she tried to take on a criminal organization with her bare hands and got herself in trouble? My, who could have seen that coming? We ought to help her out. We convince her to join. The hostage is in here. Let's get her out. Right, get her out. Hey, 
Engaging hostile drones! <laughs> Seems like you got away. Oh my god, it's you. You saved me when I was a hostage. You all right there? It's always thrilling to stare down your own imminent death. Look, I understand. Working alone limits the risk to people around you. But you can't think you can take on the whole underworld by yourself. You're gonna get killed, or something worse. The first time I did it, I was just so fed up. Tired of being pushed around, I wanted to fight back just to see if I could. But when I realised I was pretty good at it, I thought, why not focus my efforts on this? I'm doing a good thing here, and I don't intend to stop anytime soon. You know, dead sex looking for fighters, and you seem to have some fight in you. How about letting it out? Fine. I'm in. Impressive. <laughs> Tough, brave, stupid. Any two of those qualify you to join? Some of us are all three. Yes, well, I'm ready to 